Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the defrost thermostat on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of wire strippers and crimpers. You'll also need a few supplies, some wire nuts, be they crimp on type or twist on type, and a little bit of electrical tape or a nylon wire tie. Let me show you how we do it. The first step in this repair will be to pull the refrigerator far enough forward that we can disconnect the power supply. Simply pull the plug, then we'll open up the freezer door and we'll empty all the items out of the freezer. Next we'll start with removing the shelving. Simply lift up on the shelf, push to one side or the other, and lift it out. We'll set that aside. Now if your model is equipped with a slide out bottom shelf, just pull it out part way and you'll feel it disengage at the back and then you can lift that slide out shelf completely out. Set that aside. Then you will also have to remove the frame for that. There are two Phillips screws, one located on either side. Simply remove those and slide the frame out. Next we'll remove the ice cube tray holder if your model has one be held in place with a couple of quarter inch hex head screws. We can remove both of those and set that aside. Next we'll re need to remove the evaporator cover. There's two quarter inch hex head screws. They also have a Phillips head on them as well. We'll remove those. Tilt that panel towards you from the top, and then lift it out of the slot in the bottom, and slide it out of the freezer. Now if your evaporator is frosted up really badly, you may want to just leave that for a bit to defrost. And the defrost thermostat is located in the upper right rear corner. The defrost thermostat located right in the upper right rear corner, held in place with a little spring clip clamps it to the top coil of that evaporator. We're just going to pull that out here. We'll need to cut these crimped on wire terminals. Cut them as close to those terminals as you can. And we can discard the old thermostat. Now we'll want to strip back a little bit of the wire on this. We'll take it to about a number 16 wire gauge and strip back about 3 eighths to a half an inch of wire. Twist those ends, keep them tight. We'll take our new thermostat, we'll just twist those wires together. And today I'm going to use a crimp on type wire connector. We'll just slide over the ends of those bare wires and then we're going to crimp it on there nice and tight. We'll just give that a little tug to make sure that they stay together. We'll do the same with the second two. And you can use either an inline type of splice uh, twist on wire knots or these crimp on ones, it doesn't really matter. The clamp on this defrost thermostat is slightly different 
in the original that was on there, but it works exactly the same. It just saddles right over top of that tubing. So we'll set that down into place, snap it on securely. And the last thing we'll do is we'll take these two wire connections and either with a piece of electrical tape or a small wire tie, we'll fasten that there so that there's no chance for the water to get into those terminals. And we'll just make sure that those wires are secure and out of the way. And now we're ready to put the evaporator cover back on. Now that we have the thermostat replaced, we're ready to reassemble the refrigerator. We'll start with the evaporator fan cover. We'll tilt that in and engage the bottom fan opening into that slot. Line it up and replace the two quarter inch hex head screws. Next, we'll replace the ice cube tray holder. Now we can replace the frame for the bottom sliding shelf. Engage that notched opening underneath these two tabs on that air chute. Line up the screw holes and replace the two Phillips screws. Next we'll put the bottom shelf in. Just slide it almost all the way to the rear until it drops into the little channels. Then you can push it into place. Next we'll replace the wire shelf. Fit the metal rods into the top of the slotted openings. And that will allow you to push it all the way to the left or to the right, whichever side you're putting in first. Then drop it down to the bottom can't fall out. Now we're ready to plug the refrigerator in and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.